think about relocating the fair from downtown all out near the equestrian center. Of course, his fire captain very upset that some of her colleagues are now laid off in the face of this uh, contentious union vote. Randy Wise, the union president, after that vote, and they rejected the deal. Um, they you know, continually spending money, saying that there there is no money, but expecting the, uh, you know uh, our membership to take a, a pay cut and to continue to spend in money. The firefighters very upset with uh, the layoffs that they're having to encounter. So again, just to recap, big vote tonight at City Hall. The meeting starts at 5 o'clock inside Council Chambers, but there's going to be a lot of activity around City Hall as several vocal groups come out against this uh, property tax hike. Meanwhile, the mayor says, hey, they have to find this money somewhere to support the city services. A live downtown, Eric Spivey, First Coast News, your news leader. It's going to be very Whether the company pays or the city pays for the drop-off. For example, on June 9th, we watched Waste Pro pick up the trash at Portside and take it to the dump. But when we found the dump ticket from that day, it shows when the truck arrived at the dump, the driver claimed to be carrying regular city trash, a Type 3 on the ticket. That means because they are a city contracted hauler and claim they dropped off city trash, they didn't pay the dump fee. In this case, $367. And we found the same thing happened for that same truck picking up trash at Portside every week in June. I'd yeah, like to see uh, some of it come back to those who are paying. It's known as tucking in, and it's a violation of the city's contract. It is frustrating uh, because, you know, we rely on the integrity of our, of our contractors to do what is right. We showed the video and the documents of what we found to City Solid Waste Director Fred Forbes. What they are doing wrong is that they are using, they're picking up their commercial waste and avoiding the tip fee. I think it's pretty serious. I think it's something that uh, needs to be known, and I think that we're going to take additional steps to ensure that it's very hard to do that in the future. Based on what we found, Forbes has launched a citywide investigation, putting investigators on the streets to watch private neighborhoods just like we did. His investigators have been taking their own pictures, and he said they have seen Ways Pro tucking in in some form in five neighborhoods. When I think it's confined to really one company that's really uh, abusing, we got to get reimbursed, and then we got to also penalize them so that it doesn't happen in the future. Just in the month we sorted through dump tickets for just one neighborhood, Portside, the city lost out on $1,674 in dump fees. Add to that, the city is also paying for the garbage haulers gas, even when in these cases the trucks were being used for other customers. We went to Waste Pro for an interview, but it would only give a written statement, saying in part, we are also conducting training sessions with drivers and supervisors to ensure our policies and procedures are understood and carried out. We today sat down with the Solid Waste Department to begin the process of rectifying any mistakes we may have inadvertently made. Forbes at Solid Waste says he has asked city auditors to begin to calculate how much Waste Pro owes, but right now he can't give an estimate. He says it will include reimbursement for dump fees and fuel and then fines on top of that. Plus, he hasn't rolled out taking away the city contract. Now, the Solid Waste Division didn't catch this happening before we did, but says it is making several changes, including random spot checks and audits. Right, that's a good thing. We'll keep you updated. The Payton clown and some Kool-Aid for city organizers and a few other antics spoking punk fun at city council. It's all in good humor, but it's it's not. It could be pretty serious. You know, people are having a hard time making making the mortgage payment, finding a job, and we can't afford another tax increase. The mayor, John Payton, says that if this tax increase does not pass, the city will have to cut $45 million more million from a budget that has already been slashed. He said that would cut important city services, and he doesn't think it's possible. Reporting live downtown, Kristen Cosby, Action News. So following late breaking news that we first brought you on Action News at 5, Mayor John Payton is accused of trying to persuade two officers to take pay cuts. The Fraternal Order of Police filed a complaint today with the Public Employees Relations Commission. Now that's the state commission that oversees complaints between unions and employers. The complaint alleges that the mayor dropped in on a lunch with some officers and started showing them charts with information about the city's financial future. The FOP released several pictures from that impromptu meeting with the mayor. The union believes Mayor Payton was using dirty tactics to influence union negotiations. Warning. 
It is a crime. What city leaders are doing? Payton place warning. Mayor John Payton is endangering people in Jacksonville. Be courageous. Stand against turning Jacksonville into a Payton place. He wants to cut fire and police protection, while we are wasting millions on Payton's pet projects. In this economy it is foolish to cut fire and police. City leaders are cutting fire and police protection, while wasting millions on Payton's pet projects. Like they just gave away $4 million to the Jaguars football team. Very pave roads with bricks and waste millions of dollars more. Please save our fire and police force, because we need them. Just watch the news. Call the city council today, and tell them to keep our fire and police protection. The life you save, could be your own. This patent place warning brought to you by the Sanity Commission. As I have sitting in the parks in Newark. I think you could probably cut back on the good time parks for a while before you slash the cops. Philadelphia? You can save a couple of cops right off the bat. Cut the million dollars set aside for mural arts. Mural arts? I don't know if you knew that. know this. Free market is great, baby. They do it for free. It's called graffiti. $32 million for a free library. Well, I got to tell you, I read probably twice as much as the average Joe. I love to read, but I have a hard time reading, or my kids would have a hard time reading with blood coming down their eyes. Baltimore, cops are on the chopping block. But for $750,000, you can't, you got to get rid of the cops. We got an opera house online. This is like your wife coming home saying, honey, we, we're running out of money. We got to cut down on our expenses, but we got to stay healthy. We, we got to do something. We can't afford all of this food. You're right, honey. We got to cut the milk and the meat and the organics. We got to cut all that out. We're only going to buy Mountain Dew and Cheetos. Mountain Dew and Cheetos. How about we get the rich who never pay their fair share to buy their stupid, snotty opera house? Let me ask you. You're in a state. Would you cut the opera house or the cops? <sighs> you know why this is easy for you? You know why it's infuriating for you? Because you have common sense. Now, what does your gut tell you? That everybody involved in this is a moron?